What's up YouTube? Today I will be trying to show you how to port and polish your aluminum heads. Uh, first, tools are going to be required. We're going to start with safety first. Put on your glasses, your, your eye protection. Some tools we're going to need. Your air grinder, the drill, the Dremel, some die for the aluminum, we're going to need some gloves, some type of gloves, you are going to need some burrs some carbide burrs uh, take note that um, aluminum are different than, than metal this is how aluminum looks for aluminum and this is how multi-purpose or mainly cast iron or steel looks is it different? So it has more opening so the pieces of aluminum can fly away and this is regular see the difference there? That's the difference in here. So we need tools. We need the carbide burrs. We need some sandpaper or uh, cartridge rolls of sandpaper is 80 grit, 120, 60. So that's about it. That's for now. Uh, now, now that we have the tools, now the eye protection, safety first. Always protect your eyes. The tools in there. <coughs> Burst. Some air. Now on your die grinder or your air tool or your Dremel, it has to be at least uh, for sure like 15,000 RPM and up. This one right here is 25,000 RPM on 90 PSI. But mainly any 15 or 10,000 RPM and up uh, should make the work. Should do the job. We already have this head right here. I already took some some meat, some aluminum off. Hit the valve seals, the valve um, seat, it's already blending, I don't know if you can see from there. Also the guides are blending, they're going to work for side by side. This is how it looks. I don't know if you can see from there. See the valve guide right there. Let me try to get something I can point with. You can see the mid right here. This part right here. We have to get rid of all this. Blend in with the valve guide. So we have to take all this aluminum off. So it mainly has to look like this one right here you see how this one is already blending this one is blending also it's blended too right there this one is already in the process so let's go ahead and keep working on this one this is exhaust gasket you have to make sure you're gonna use the same exhaust gasket with the headers you're gonna be running you have to make sure 
Uh, this type of A is a 317 from the LQ4 6.0 LS engine. Comes on any on the trucks. And it's also the same heads as the LS6, I believe. This is how you set the gasket in here. Where will the bolts are. So once you have it in there, you're gonna trace it so you can see how much you can remove. I'm here and I'm feeling fearless 
exaggerated, that's what you assume The story's over now, I must conclude I am conflicted, watching where I step still Hanging in the balance, not the life I want to live I want to take it all, standing tall Fear I've the person you are